I'm obsessed. With cheeseburgers? No. Okay, a little. But I'm talking about secret rooms here. Hidden doors and passageways that lead to somewhere like this. Oh, sorry. Like this. Now, I've always dreamed of having a secret hideout. And believe me, I've tried everything to find one. And well... I think I'm better off just trying to build one myself. Okay, so building a secret room is gonna be pretty tough. You have to have a secret door that leads to somewhere unexpected. And the secret door has to be hiding in plain sight, like a warp pipe in Mario, or the wardrobe from Narnia. Now I have no idea how I'm gonna do that, but first things first, I'm gonna build a room. So here's what I got, a bunch of lumber. Now I gotta build a room that's big enough for me to fit in, but small enough for me to disguise. And once the room is totally built, I can bring it out to the public where no one will know that it exists, besides Besides me, which is super cool. Now you might be wondering, have I built a secret room before? No. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Am I gonna wing it in hopes that I end up with a decent product? 100% dude, I don't care about the rules. But what I do care about is checking Operation Fulfill Childhood Dream of building a secret hideout off my list. Which is why when this happened, I was super bummed out. I've got a bit of a problem. If I'm gonna hide this thing in public, it's gotta be small and discreet. And I made this way too big. So I literally have to take this apart and cut everything shorter. Ugh, I didn't have time for this. In fact, I had to get this project done as soon as humanly possible. You see, having a secret hideout has been a dream of mine since I was six. And exactly five days from now is my birthday, and I'll be turning 29 years old, which according to society is too old to be goofing around. So I couldn't afford to waste a second on careless mistakes like this. Not with the days of my youth disappearing. I had to keep pushing forward. I had a sink full of dishes to do, but I first had to make my dreams come true. You know that feeling when you're crushing it in Mario Kart and then you fall off the map putting you way behind? Well, that's exactly how I felt. And I felt pretty hungry too, but I didn't have time for that. My childhood was at stake here. Oh, stake. The clock was ticking and I couldn't stop until I had a super cool secret hideout. All right, the room is finally done and it's pretty sick, but this thing isn't very secret. In fact, it's kind of huge and obvious. So I gotta figure out how to, what's my line? How to disguise. I'm gonna figure out how to disguise this thing. My first initial thought was to cover it with my invisibility cloak, but that felt a little too much like cheating, so I decided against it. I was gonna have to be way more creative than that. So I went to the city to get some inspiration. What could I disguise my room as that would blend in with the environment? There had to be something. And then it hit me. A bush! There's bushes all over the place. No one's gonna notice a secret room if it's just another bush. So I quickly hopped online and got some bush material stuff. It was all coming together now. So while I wait for that to be delivered, I'm gonna start working on the inside. So every secret room has to have some cool stuff in it. Otherwise, what's the point? But first things first, I can't see anything in here. So I pulled out the old lights I used for my cardboard Airbnb. These lights have gotten me through some dark times. Get it? Wow, it is very, very bright in here. But it wasn't very comfortable, so I laid down some floor mats to make it more cozy. Oh, this is so much better. I can fall asleep in here. But that would be a dire mistake. Because it's 98 degrees in here, and it's easily 20 degrees hotter in here. So I needed a way to control the temperature in there, like the air conditioning in a house. But I don't know anything about air conditioning, and the internet wasn't much help, so I had no choice but to resort to a more unconventional form of research. So what do you guys think I should do? Honestly, I wish I could help you, but I don't know anything about air conditioning. Yeah, Yo, are you talking about air conditioning? I got you. Bro, I've been doing HVAC for like 15 years. You gotta get the cold air from outside to go inside. Wow, this guy really knew his stuff, but I was thoroughly confused. But amidst my confusion, I had a genius idea. I could use an air mattress pump as the air conditioner, effectively getting the cold air outside, inside, just like the dude said. This would give me just enough airflow to survive the crazy heat when I take the room out to the public. But I was forgetting the most important thing, electricity. But the electricity was gonna have to wait, because I got a package at my door that was going to change the course of time. Well, maybe not the course of time, but definitely change the course of my Monday afternoon. It was time to get down to business before my birthday arrived. Then as swift as a coursing river and with the force of a great typhoon, I made a bush out of this room. And much like this absolute banger song you're listening to, the bush was pretty sick. Oh my goodness, that guy just came out of a bush, what? is the reaction that people will probably have if they see me coming out of this thing. The park was popping that day. With my bush in position, I was ready to put my secret room to the ultimate test. I was nervous to say the least. I am officially in the park. I can hear people walking by right now. I don't think anyone knows. 
knows I'm here. At first, I got a crazy adrenaline rush, and then I got bored when I realized that there was nothing to do in there besides play on my phone and take a nap. I was in there about 15 minutes when I realized I had made a horrible mistake. I forgot to give power to my air conditioner, and now there was nothing protecting me from the brutal Texas heat. It was 102 degrees outside, making the inside of my secret room 120 degrees easy. I tried to hold out as long as I could, but my body was dripping sweat and my brain was melting like butter. It's so hot in here. I just couldn't hold out any longer. And just like that, I blew my cover. And it turns out I didn't have much cover to begin with because everyone seemed to find the bush pretty suspicious. Does this bush look suspicious to you? Oh yeah. So it was back to the shop with a whole new heap of problems. It was too hot, it was super boring, and this bush aesthetic isn't fooling anyone, cause let's be honest, it looks like a Minecraft bush. So first things first, we gotta fix this air conditioning situation. Cause I just lost like 10 pounds of sweat. But I can't just plug this into a wall or else everyone will notice my secret room. So I think my best course of action is to hook it up to this car battery. But I can't just plug it into a car battery. So I'm gonna need a power inverter, which is pretty expensive. But we've already spent so much on the lumber and the fake bush. But I had no choice, so I left to go get- oh, Wrong way. I left to go get a power inverter, which basically just lets you transfer the power from a car battery to anything that plugs in. Oh my goodness. Now before I spice up the inside, I had to fix this disguise. So it was back to the city for inspiration. I walked for miles and miles, and I started to notice a pattern that gave me a brilliant idea. In one of my all-time favorite movies, Ready Player One, the main character Wade Watts has a secret hideout located in a pile of junk cars. Now I don't have a bunch of junk cars to hide in, but what I do have is garbage. Of course, there was garbage all over the city, and if I disguise my room as a pile of garbage, no one will even notice it's there. No one pays attention to garbage. This plan was pure gold, and I was gonna use this big trash can as a secret entrance to the room. And it was in that moment I realized I got myself into a pretty sticky situation. I've spent so much money on lumber, the bush material, the power inverter, and now I destroyed a very expensive trash can, and I was about to destroy another one all to build a secret room. Not to mention, I still had to make the inside side of this thing super cool and fun, but at this point, I was broke, so I needed to replenish my budget. I need to raise some money. It was time to channel my inner entrepreneur and figure out a way to fund the rest of this build. So as you might already know, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an electrician, and all my builds are done by me, myself, and I. Some, and sometimes that guy. So my genius plan is to build an online merch store using Shopify. So my supporters can buy some really cool merch and help me pay for this project. But I'm also by no means a web developer. And I've never built an online store before, so I'm pretty nervous. But my anxiety quickly subsided when I realized that our sponsor Shopify has all the tools needed to build an online business. And building my merch store was so easy, I didn't even need me or myself. I did it completely alone. And even, even that guy made his own store. And if he can start his own store, that means anybody can. Even you. Just go to shopify.com slash jcarlini to start your own business today. And our Shopify store is done, and I'm selling a super limited supply of this hat that was inspired by this build. I'm also selling this t-shirt with the most motivational sentence I could possibly think of. Ooh, so handsome. So if I can sell all this merch, that should be enough for me to recoup my losses and buy myself some new trash cans. So it was time to get back to work, and I definitely procrastinated a little bit, but eventually I thought of a game plan and hit the ground walking because this was a very slow process and it literally took me forever. But I had to make this the most convincing pile of garbage so the people of Austin, Texas wouldn't know what hit them. <laughs> this is pretty sick. Now that I have my secret entrance, I want to make this section look like a box that's full of garbage. So I had to do some arts and crafts and with a little creativity and stapling a bunch of trash to the top of the room, the illusion was looking pretty believable. I was nearing the end of construction and things were getting real. Even more real than they've been this whole time. I have no explanation as to what that means, but I assume you understand what I'm saying because I'm not crazy here. But what is crazy is that when I took a seat to admire my work, I started to feel really strange. I was unusually dizzy. This can only mean one thing. I was suffering from heat exhaustion. Which makes sense because it's 106 degrees out, I've been working in a garage with the door open all day, and I'm definitely dehydrated. Remember to stay hydrated, guys. Water is super important, especially if you're a Fish. Yes, 4% of my subscribers are fish, so please be respectful in the comments. But anyway, I passed out. I awoke the next morning with a different shirt on for some reason, but I was feeling good as ever. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, I was certain it was going to be a great day. That was until, of course, I opened up the door and realized something horrible. <laughs> It was my birthday. 
Ugh, I thought I had more time, but my childhood was gone. Over. Dunzo. I was too old to be goofing around. I was just going through the motions of my party, but deep down I was screaming in pain. I guess it was just time for me to grow up. I was heartbroken to say the least. Jake, what's got you down, man? It's just... I thought I could get the secret hideout done by now, and now it's too late. Why is it too late? Because I'm 29 now, man. Like, I'm too old for this. According to whom? I don't know. Society? Who cares what society thinks? You gotta do you. If you want to build a hideout when you're 29, then do it. That's no one's decision but yours. Wow, I was speechless. Jeff was spitting some straight facts, and all I could do was make undivided face contact with him. You can't live your life for other folks. You gotta live your life for you. Man, Jeff was right. I had to finish. I tried so hard and got so far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter what anyone else thinks but me. It was my dream to build this secret room and nothing was gonna stand in my way. This was going to be the coolest disguise any hidden room has ever had. And the inside was gonna be even better. I was going to install a TV and a Nintendo Switch so I could chill and play video games in peace and quiet and no one would even know I was there. It was going to be my own secret hideout paradise. Oh, I was so excited for this. The day was finally here. It was time to load this thing up and bring it on out to the city. I found a super busy spot with lots of cars and foot traffic. This would really test the limits of my secret room. If I was able to go unnoticed in a place like this, then it was truly a job well done. The nervousness was starting to set in. It's go time. I had to get in the room without being seen, so I had to move quickly. I saw a break in the traffic and I took my shot. Without hesitation, I jumped in the secret door. Once inside, I saw the coast was clear. I did it. I made it in my secret room safe and sound. So you know what that means. It's time to play some Mario Kart. I could hear people passing by as I chilled inside. It was crazy to think that I'm in the middle of a public place and no one knows I even exist. I'm so happy my boy Jeff talked me back into doing this. I was literally having the time of my life and no one suspected a thing. I knew deep down that my young younger self would be proud. Now I might just be a 29 year old man living his childhood dream, but I learned a very valuable lesson. Growing old is inevitable, but growing up, you don't ever have to grow up.